Social significance is such a buzzword in our field. So I wanna break down all the different areas in which social significance is important. And that includes assessment, uh, behaviors for reduction, acquisition skills, goal criteria, data collection, and of course, treatment outcomes. Socially significant assessment refers to assessment activities that take into consideration the client's preferences, their culture, their comfort level. And it means an assessment of the things that are meaningful to the client and not solely based on what an assessor thinks is important. Socially significant target behaviors or acquisition skills are those that according to the client will enhance or improve the quality of their life, further their independence and opportunities to participate in society, increase access to reinforcers and decrease daily punishers. Socially significant goal criteria is aligned with reasonable expectations for outcomes that fit the client's expectations and that are appropriate given the client's age, abilities, specific needs. Data collection methods have to be sensitive to what is feasible for the relevant people in a client's life and what aligns with their contextual variables like time, other responsibilities, their cultural values. A socially significant treatment is one that is chosen with the participation of the client and relevant people. It doesn't call on them to do anything that doesn't align with their values, their availability, their lifestyle. And finally, successful outcomes are outcomes that are meaningful for the client and the relevant people in the client's life. It is not that the clinical team is proud of the progress. It is that the outcomes improve the client's ability to function independently or participate in their community. And of course, contact more reinforcement and less punishment and on and on and on. And I hope this information is socially significant to you.